Hello, this is William Bowman and I'm recording this video for Luann over at uh, Wethington Landscape Management. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to record this video for you guys. If you guys could please just get back to me with any feedback that you might have. I'm trying to make these videos better so that clients can actually implement any advice that I give themselves. That way they can start seeing some actual results. So. The first thing that I want to talk about is I'm going to pop through your website really quickly, show you kind of what I found on the website. But then I want to talk about, you know, the volume of people that are actually searching for your services digitally in your area, how your competitors are winning that volume currently, and what you can do to kind of start directing some of that traffic to your guys' site and making your guys' site like a digital asset instead. So... Whenever we pop in here, I'm looking at your site and I, I do really like your site. I'm not going to pop into uh, trying to tell you to redesign your site or anything like that. I think it's uh, I think it's a good looking site. I think that, uh, you know, popping into the tree care, um, some of this may be a little bit hard to read, but for me, it's completely fine. Um, I think that you guys talk about all of your services. You guys definitely have some good content on this page. I would probably say anywhere between four to 500 words, which is which is really great to have on your services page. Um, on your homepage, I do think that you guys probably could use some more content. I know you guys have this. Um, th you probably want to aim for anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on the front page of a site and about 500 to 750 words of content on any of the back pages. And there's a particular reason for that, right? It's not just because I'm saying, oh, just go in and create a bunch of content uh, because I know it's not easy. Um, but it's because you want to be able to fill in some more keywords in there without it feeling forced. So more, uh, you know, you have more ability to throw in keywords when you have more wording on there um, without it seeming like you're just stuffing a bunch of keywords in there. Um, and, you know, I do want to talk about, you know, what what is a keyword, right? So a keyword is just simply what somebody would throw into Google in order to find your service. So, you know, tree trimming Amarillo, if I threw that into Google, you know, the first thing that usually at the top, I see ads. So it's good that I'm not seeing any ads right now. Um, but the next area is the Google Map Pack. And this Google Map Pack, this is a great place to be. If you don't already have this set up, um, you can get quite a few customers just from having this set up. Um, so I would recommend going out and getting this, uh, getting this created. You just go to Google My Business and you fill out a form talking about your business, location, address, all of that, phone number. Um, and put your website in there for sure, because that will uh, that will actually help your ranking with your website as well. Um, and it gives people, I don't know, it gives them kind of like a peace of mind because they know that they can see a realistic view of, you know, the reviews that your company has done in the past and, you know, what, what, they're, what they should expect when they utilize your services. So this is a great place to be. Um, but I want to spend my time here talking about what is called the organic search area. So I threw in tree trimming Amarillo. And the very first company that I'm seeing is arborlogicalinc.com. And then, and then we see Yelp. Um, this is actually a good indicator to show you that just because Yelp is a big name doesn't mean that they're going to rank above companies. Usually Google likes to do local companies or companies that can actually help them instead of directing people to another list because this is a buyer intent keyword, right? They're looking for tree trimming Amarillo. They don't necessarily need a list of all the tree services in Amarillo this is a company that can help them. So that's just a good example. But I want to throw into, I want to pop into their site. I don't want to spend too much site, too much of time, you know, covering their site or what they've, you know, done. The one thing that I will note is that they do have quite a bit of content on the front page, but still not as much as they should have. I'm thinking that they probably have around 400. Um, and like I said, you want to aim for 1,000 to 1,500, but really what you want to do is you just want to beat Whoever is in the top spot, beat them by like a good three or 400 words. Um, and that, that way you can add more keywords and you can, you, you can rank above them when it comes to the content piece. And that's one of three pieces. Um, so the next, next thing I want to do is I want to jump into underneath the hood on their site. Let's look at the analytics of their site and see what they're doing. So when we look here, we're seeing arbologicalinc.com is what I threw into the URL. And we have all these numbers. Let me explain what these numbers mean. So you are, this is a URL rating. It's like the trustworthiness of the site um, or the specific address, I should say. And then the DR is the domain rating. It's like the power or the reputation of the entire site as a whole. So as you can see, these both of these numbers are from zero to 100 and they're kind of like a key indicator as to where you're, you can you can kind of compare these numbers among any of the companies in a, in a particular industry in a particular area to kind of determine who's gonna end up ranking higher. 
Um, so they are really good key indications as to where you would end up on that front page on Google, if you would even end up on the front page. Um, so what I'm noticing here is this is actually very surprising that they only have a DR of 0.3 out of 100 scale and yet they're still number one spot, which means that this is kind of a low hanging fruit. This is a, a quick win for you guys to kind of take over their spot with doing some of the right things. So this UR and DR, I've explained what they are, but how do you raise them? And one particular way to raise a UR and DR is through the usage of creating backlinks. Um, that is the number one methodology that people utilize. So, but what is a backlink? So a backlink is simply just, if somebody's writing a blog, and they say, hey, you guys need to use Weathington. They're the best in town. Um, you know, they did a great job. And then they throw a link down and that link leads to your site, any of your site pages. That is a backlink. So if you notice, they have 120 backlinks coming from about 27 different sites. I don't want you to feel worried about the 120 marker. Um, if you see historically, they had over a thousand and their numbers really haven't moved. Their UR has moved, but their DR hasn't moved. And that's a key indicator of one thing. They aren't doing quality backlinks. I've seen five to 10 good quality backlinks beat anywhere between 100 to 1,000 poorly made backlinks. And what I mean by a good quality backlink, right? So a backlink, it could be, you know, you going to BBB and putting your information there. That's a backlink. That's not a really good quality backlink, but it is a backlink and it can help you raise your UR. But your DR needs to be raised by you getting a backlink from a good reputable source like a, a blog or something like that that's putting a link to your site um, or maybe even an award. So if you guys won an award through like Arborists or anything like that, like any of the tree climbing awards or anything like that and having that on your site and also you being recognized on, on the award site, that can be a very strong backlink for yourselves. Um, so find one that's in your industry that, uh, you know, it's a reputable blog or something like that. And, you know, see if maybe if you wrote an article sharing some of your, you know, your expertise in the area that they'd be willing to put it up there and allow you to put a link to your site. Um, that's often how people, you know, create these backlinks, at least quality ones. You can create poor ones without going through any work and just putting in a bunch and hopefully it'll raise these two numbers. But I, I always recommend creating quality over quantity. Um, so let's look at, you know, what, so what does all of this get them, right? You know, what, what does this actually mean when we're talking about dollars? Well, these numbers, you know, we saw that they were ranked number one and we can go and look at what they're ranked number one for. So tree trimming Amarillo, Texas, this is the key word. They're ranked number one for that. On average, 60 people a month search for that and they're ranked number one. So they're probably going to get quite a few people coming to their site. Then we do Amarillo Arbological, 60, they're ranked number one. Tree Service Amarillo, 60, they're ranked number one. Arbological Inc., that's probably one that you wanna stay away from just because it's their specific name, right? They're probably getting this naturally just by you know having their site and their name, their, their uh, business name throughout their site. Um, Amarillo Tree, Amarillo Tree Service. You know These are what we call buyer intent keywords. They have volume behind them and these are actual customers that don't already know the name of the company that they're gonna use and they're looking for services. Um, you want to stay away from, um, you know, things like high maintenance tree service. This is national. So if somebody in Chicago searches this looking for tree services and they find you, you might not be able to help them unless you have a location in Chicago, right? So definitely stick to what we call buyer intent keywords that are location specific to your specific uh, service area. But now I want to just quickly compare your site and kind of offer you one last little tidbit of, uh, you know, advice there. So we pop in, we're going to take a look at your site. We're seeing that, you know, you don't really have a UR or DR. You have one backlink in total um, and you're only ranked for six keywords. So when we pop in and we look at the rankings for the six keywords, we're seeing that, you know, you have landscaping Amarillo, you're ranked number 42. Um, Amarillo lawn mowing, you're, you know, these aren't bad words, but definitely look at some of the words that I showed you, maybe, re maybe rewind the video and take a look at some of these words with good volume and start sprinkling those guys into your specific site, you know, start sprinkling them into your content. That way you can build up these organic keywords that have volume behind them that are buyer intent, and then start trying to create some good backlinks. Um, if you, the, if you follow those three things, then you should be able to start amping up the amount of digital customers that you're acquiring. So the first would be content and keyword specific content. I'm sorry, you know, content with keywords in there. The second would be backlinks. Start trying to find, you know, a way to create some good backlinks for yourselves. 
And then the third is if you don't have your GMB, definitely go and set that up because that is a great place to uh, acquire customers digitally as well. But I hope that this information was uh, helpful to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, if you have any feedback, again, I would love to hear it. I, I would like to make these better to where you know businesses can actually implement all of this uh, themselves, and you know they're not you know big businesses aren't coming into towns because they know that they can easily sweep up all the volume uh, from online searches. But thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a great day.